This video is sponsored by Fiverr and contains an advertisement for Fiverr. Fiverr challenged me to build a design concept in real life which has been designed by a freelancer on Fiverr. There are lots of freelancers on Fiverr who can deliver pretty much anything from graphic design to music, website design and programming and video or animation. I chose three industrial designers to help me with this project but I wanted three totally different ideas to choose from. So I made my request fairly open and gave the designers lots of freedom to come up with whatever concept they wanted. I asked them to come up with a design concept for a superhero assistance device and I let them do the rest. On Fiverr you can either put a request out for anyone to respond to or you can get a quote from specific designers that you choose. I chose three freelancers who specialised in industrial design. I set my budget and sent off my request and it only took a few hours for three designers to agree to carry out the design work. I was able to communicate with them throughout the design process and it's quite important to make sure the designs are realistic for me to build, so no flying cars or full body exosuits unfortunately. I got lots of early designs and I chose some of the themes that seemed best for each designer to develop further. It took just over a week to get three finished design concepts back, but you can set a deadline that suits you. So here they are, number one is the Fire Distinguisher. This is a wearable backpack based fire extinguisher system, but it uses machine vision to see if there's really a fire or not with a wrist mounted camera, and if there is then it automatically triggers the fire extinguishers. I like this idea because it's totally realistic to build and I really like the way it was presented. Number two, it's a folding shield and it also uses machine vision to recognise a threat so it can automatically fold out to protect you. As well as that though, it has a drone launcher built in with an FPV screen mounted in the back of the shield so you can hide from Thanos while controlling the drone to see what's going on. And number three, and this one seemed like it was the most challenging to make in real life. Yes, it's a smart blaster that allows you to steer the projectile once you've fired it by moving your head around. And there's a headset with a sight on and everything. But which one did I choose? That's right, it's the smart blaster with a steerable projectile. But this is England and we don't have real guns, so I'm going to make this like a nerf blaster. The only problem is that nerf darts are normally pretty small and there's no space for any smart technology. But I found these really big nerf missiles which are much bigger, so they're going to be absolutely ideal. There still isn't much space inside though for any propulsion method and any flight services which I'd have to control. But there's a solution. Yes, it's a tiny drone. But these drones don't carry much payload so this is about the best I can do and I still have to take the flights off to stop them blocking the downdraft. But how well will it fly? Well it seems like it flies just about okay on a full charge if I really concentrate. Let's try launching it as if it were coming out of the barrel of a blaster. And that seems to work pretty okay, even if I don't push forward to tilt the drone forward to make it fly faster. But to see if it really works, we need to design a spring-loaded mechanism to kind of fire it forward when we pull the trigger. So I'm going to make a 3D printed prototype and see what happens. We've got a base with a sliding section that's attached to some bungee to spring it to the end. On top of that there's two retainers that hold it in so it just doesn't fly out and that makes quite a good rail system. I fitted a platform to the top of that with a stick which goes in the back of the missile and that holds it on quite nicely. There's a servo release so that we can release the mechanism when we want to and that will be triggered electronically by the trigger. Well that looks like it will function but what actually happens if we try and shoot a drone out of the end of it? Well apart from gaining altitude every time that's actually surprisingly successful and I'm still not pushing forward on the stick to make it go any faster. I do have to steer it with my head somehow though, so it's time for some electronics. I've got an Arduino Mega to control everything and another Arduino with an inertial measurement unit and that allows me to measure the pitch and roll so that we can control two axes by tilting my head around. 
However, the remote for these drones is of course bespoke and there's no handy interface like there is on the higher end ones, so we need another solution. And that solution is a little robot that's actually going to push the sticks. And that's going to happen with some servos pushing bolts that I've attached to the top. So now, as I tilt the inertial measurement unit, we can control the stick to make the drone fly up and down and turn on the spot, which will allow it to steer left and right. And of course we can do all of those things at once. The other stick is to make the drone tilt forward more so it will fly faster, and that's going to happen when I pull the trigger. That all needs to be controlled by the headset though of course with the sight on which I've tried to replicate as faithfully as I can. I've actually used the brace from a face shield here to make it more comfortable because as well as the sight it needs to hold the inertial measurement unit which I'm just going to mount on a box on top. And of course there's the blaster design which I've also tried to replicate as best I can. There are some practical limitations though, I've left a hole in the middle of mine so I can get the drone in and out and turn it on and off, and I've of course had to make the barrel bigger so that we can actually shoot the drone out. Well, I think we've got something pretty unique here, at least no one else has got one, and that's part of the fun of using a freelancer on Fiverr. Of course you could be more specific in your request, or less specific if you wanted to be. I found the process pretty easy though, it's really easy to agree the price up front, and agree the request, agree the timescales, and then you can finally approve the request at the end so the person gets paid, and you can leave them feedback, and of course you can review their portfolio to see what other work that they've done in the past. So if you'd like to sell your services on Fiverr or use a freelancer on Fiverr, then use my special link in the description to this video. Right, should we find out if this actually works? Well, we're going to start nice and close for an easy one. Yep, that doesn't seem to be too much trouble. Oh, I think I steered a bit late on that, and that was a bit of a fluke. Right, we're a bit further back, so now we're going to try if we can steer, but it's actually pretty hard to steer a drone by moving your head. Well, I hit it, but it didn't really feel like I steered it much that time. Well, I can hit things with it, but I think we need a bit more distance to see if I can actually steer properly. It's much easier to see that I am actually steering it now, but I have to remember to control altitude and control rotation at the same time. So we seem to have too much altitude, so we need a little bit less, but more than that. Yep, it's definitely not easy to steer a drone by moving your head, so I think I just need a bit more practice. It feels like I'm getting a lot closer, but not that close. Hooray! Yep, it's definitely pretty tricky to fly a drone by tilting your head. Perhaps it would have been easier to actually tilt the blaster to fly the drone. A bit like those drones that you fly with a smartphone by tilting them round. But that wasn't the concept, so that's not what I built. Well, thanks to the designers on Fiverr who submitted the designs, and thanks to Fiverr for making this video possible. Don't forget to check out my special link in the description to this video if you want to sign up to Fiverr, if you want to sell your services through Fiverr, or if you want to use a freelancer on Fiverr. Alright, that's all for now.